Okay, uh, before we start learning anything, any more stuff, what is how, what is this interface? There's a lot of stuff here um, and it's going to take us some time to unpack really what everything means. But I want to give you like a very high level overview of what we're looking at. Uh, Visual Studio is this really large window and it has a lot of options about managing your project, uh, tools, uh, different ways of doing debugging, texting, uh, testing, etc. So those you will find here. Then the main area where you probably will be working a lot will be here, whether if you are working on code that is meant to be debugged, so you have debugging tools when you run it, or whether if it's code that is meant for release, so when you're done writing your plugin, your whatever, you hit release, and then you export the final code, which is, which is more optimized than a code that is designed to be um, debugged, uh, because it has like many more optimizations. Obviously, there's this button. This button is the most important one because it's the one that you will be hitting all the time to execute your program. And I forget if there's a, I think it's the shortcut for start is F5 on my Windows machine. So you can either press the button here to start whichever program you are run, you're, you're working on, or you can press F5. Now within the window, you have the main window here this main window will be displaying whichever code files you're working on. And you can switch between those code files with the, in this area here, which is the Solution Explorer. The Solution Explorer gives you access to uh, all the C Sharp code files that you may have. Right now, we only have one, but you may have, it's very common here to have like a lot of folders. Uh, it's even, you can even have like several projects within the same solution. Um, I will get to that farther, farther down in these tutorials. And you can manage certain things about the project. It's very common to want to go to properties, right? And, and then here in properties, uh, just like um, uh, open, oops, uh, in, in, in properties here, it's very common to, um, sorry, right click on the project and hit properties. It's very common to change certain things about the project. So maybe the name, maybe the version of the framework that you're working on. Maybe you want to have special actions happen when you're building your code. Building means taking the text and wrapping it up so that it can become executable. Uh, also for debugging purposes, you may want to, there are a lot of things that you can customize here. So basically for a project, the properties will always be under the name of the project, right click, and properties all the way here. Um, you will have your main file. So the file that we're working on right now is program.cs. CS stands for C sharp. Okay. And um, because we're running a very simple console application, we only have one file. But again, it's very common to have a lot of folders here with sub files and to have files reference each other. And then in our main C sharp program, for our console application, we have a lot of stuff here that came bundled with um, this template that we selected for a console application. I'm not going to get too much into the details, but I just want to make sure that you understand that first, this part here are the references that we are bringing in to our code so that we can already start working with code that exists as part of the .NET framework. So for example, as you can see, um, there are lists, there are threading, there is stuff to work with text, which we are not using right now because it's grayed out, but we are using the system library. The system library is the one that, for example, um, contains the console object. We have access to the console because it's part of what the system library gives us. This will be very useful in the future because if you want to bring a library from someone else, like a geometry kernel or like something that helps you parse JSON files, something like that, you will first bring this file into your project. You will reference that file here and I will teach you how to do that in the future. And then here you will type using, for example, Machina, which I hear is a very cool um, uh, library for robot programming and control. I guess, who? I wonder who wrote that, huh? Uh, but I will teach you how to use this in the future. Then here we have a couple things. We have something called the namespace. The namespace is basically how to categorize where code is by giving it uh, namespaces or giving it names. 
And then uh, inside of this, there's this thing called a class called program. We're not going to get into that yet, but sufficient to say that console applications need to have a base class called program that needs to have a static, a static method called main that may accept as an array of text arguments. We don't need, again, we don't need to get into what that means yet. I will explain that over the course of this tutorial. But um, what I want you to take away from this is that uh, whenever you write code in simple console applications, you start the template, as I explained in the video before, you will have all this code available for you as well. And the only thing that you need to do is to write your code inside the main static void function right here. All right. And I will teach you over the course of this lists how to write even more functions and supplementary code that you can use inside inside here. All right. Um, and I think that's it for for right now. So I think as a general introduction, we are good to start now learning to actually write computer code and the fundamentals of how that works. All right.